screaming out. <laughs> Bring me to the hospital. Me I got dead. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today it's a story time with your girl Nikita. Yes. So if you're not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button down below and also click the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I upload. So today I'm going to tell you guys a story time about how a monkey almost took my leg off. Yes guys, I had a monkey. <laughs> so let's get right into the story. So um, I moved to Curacao from Jamaica in 1998 and I I think this happened around 2000, 2001, I'm not sure, but before moving to Curacao, um, I called, like, my, me and my mom were speaking on the phone and she was telling me how they had a monkey, so this monkey, his name was California guys, so I was so excited to meet California and my mom was telling me, listen, when you come here, in her voice, no go with the monkey there. I'm like, why? She said, she said, listen, this monkey is vicious. Do not go where the monkey is. So I'm like, why could the monkey be her as well? I'm like, what? I'm like, okay. But well, back then, I'm a sucker for animals. Listen, I love animals. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to go and see what this monkey is all about. So when I arrived in Jamaica, the first thing that I wanted to see is the monkey. I'm like, mom, bring me to the monkey. I want to see the monkey. I want to see the monkey. <laughs> it was on this day, I was in the house with my mom and I wanted something to eat. So my mom's like, listen, you just don't eat. Why you want again? Why you want again? Listen, why are you baby? Now give you not on. So I'm like, I'm like, no, I want something. I think I wanted cornflakes or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but she didn't give it to me. So I was upset. So I went outside and I was looking for something to like, trying to misbehave myself to make her upset because she didn't give me what I want. So yes, I was a very rude child back then, guys. So what can I do? I'm like, listen, I'm gonna go to the monkey. <laughs> Jesus. So I went down to the monkey and I'm like, oh my god, in the back of my head, I remember my mom saying, no, go with the monkey then, left the monkey. You know that voice in the back of your head, but I'm like, I don't care. So I went down to the monkey and there was this grape tree where the monkey was. So the monkey was tied um, at that tree. So I went over there and took some of the grapes and was like trying to give the monkey. But guys, I was scared of the monkey because of that voice of my mom in the back of my head. So every time the monkey tried to put out his hand to take the grape, I pulled my hand back and then I tried to give him and then I pulled my hand back again. Listen, I didn't know it's a way of teasing the monkey. Like literally, I didn't know. So basically, I was teasing him. Listen, this monkey got upset and jumped at me guys listen the chain that he was hooked onto it broke the only thing i remember doing guys is this after that the monkey hit in my hands and dropped on my leg listen california was doing something to my leg i don't know what he was doing i was there like that's my voice I don't know what to do. I was panicking. I was like, the only the voice in the back of my head I can hear of my mom. Listen, I was just looking, the, looking at the monkey doing his thing on my leg. So at one point, I heard someone screamed. So when I turned around and looked, because I was on the ground and the monkey on me, when I turned around and looked, it was my sister. My sister screamed. And when my sister screamed, the, the monkey like the monkey was frightened as well so he looked up and that's the time I got the chance to run away so I got up and my sister um start running and then I start running behind my sister so my sister hold because I was skinny like this guy my sister hold me in the back of my shirt and pull me in front of her so we both was running guess what we both were running who behind us the monkey behind us coming for us so we put running down the street the monkey behind us listen guy listen if we were in a track and field with usain bolt jesus we'd have won that race listen we were speeding down the road with the monkey behind us so at one point i we were running towards home and there was like we have a stairs listen it's the first we climbed that stairs so fast straight up in the house 
I don't know what happened, but the monkey wasn't behind us anymore when we went inside the house. When we got in, we were like, <gasps> my mom's mom was like, what happened? My sister was like, <laughs> everyone was like, <laughs> my mom was panicking. My mom was like, what happened to you? What happened? Because we rushed into the house like, like two madmen. Listen, my mom, my sister's like pointing to me, pointing to my leg. So I didn't even realize what was going on with my leg. So I turned and checked my leg out. Listen, guys, there was this hole in my leg like that. I saw vein, I saw bone, I saw flesh, I saw everything beating in my leg like that. I'm like, I was shocked, I couldn't shout, I started to cry. Listen, my mom. Me the telephone left the monkey. Me the telephone left the monkey. Every day the telephone left the monkey. Where you gonna go to the monkey for Nikita? Where you gonna feed the monkey? Why you go to the monkey? Jesus, what are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do? I'm like, no, 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 I don't know. So my mom rushed to the hospital with me. The doctor was shocked. When she saw my leg well because I was skinny and I didn't have much meat on my body they had to force my skin together to sew it back together so guys this is how it looks I'm not sure if you guys can see but this is where I got the scar of the monkey well so guys after that I tried to kill the monkey like listen I tried to poison it <laughs> I tried to stone it sorry for my family that's watching but yes I tried to kill the monkey so I tried to stone the monkey the monkey stoned me back like this monkey is so smart since that day the monkey hate me with a passion he hated me with a passion and guys guess what you guys not gonna believe this the monkey beat me again! Bruh. Jesus, the monkey beat me again, guys. Yes, let me tell you how this happened. <laughs> the monkey beat me again, but listen, this was not my fault, yeah? So I went back to the house to visit some family because they just came from Holland. So I went there to visit them and I was like leaning on the door. So that's the door when you open it, you will see where the monkey is. So I was leaning on the door and the door wasn't closed properly. So the door busted open and I fell down the stairs. I was rolling down the stairs. <laughs> Why rolling down the stairs? Who I saw in the corner of my eyes running towards me? The monkey. I'm like, Jesus, I'm dead now. Listen, I don't know how I ended up in the bush outside the yard, but I ended up outside the yard in the bushes, God. But while going down the stairs, the monkey's like this down the stairs with me when I ended up in the bush listen I run like 10 Batman straight home straight home I was running like this listen I didn't look back for nothing so when I got home I'm like Jesus I can't tell my mom that I fell down the stairs I can't tell. but I didn't know what's happening listen when I check my big toe the monkey bit me on my big toe guys listen hey I started to cry I'm like, mom, mom, mom. when I checked my toe was full of blood she's like what happened now Nikita what happened now I'm like the monkey Jesus my mom said go back on the monkey again my mom's like listen me no me no want ear me no want ear hear me now <laughs> bring me to the hospital me I got dead me I got dead because you know a monkey their, their teeth is very um I not say poisonous but you will need a tetanus shot when um if you got bitten by a monkey or yes you will need a tetanus shot so I was like uh, me need the injection I me I got dead <laughs> So my mom was like, you're not gonna die, you got the shot already last time, you're not gonna die. Man, I was panicking. So my mom wrapped, <laughs> wrapped my big toe with a piece of cloth 
and I was listen. I went to bed. Since that day, monkey didn't see me. I stayed far from away the monkey. And guess what? The monkey ran away. The monkey ran away. So it got loose. Um, so he broke the chain one day and he ran up a light post and he got electrocuted. He fell straight down on his face from the light post down to the ground. So when he, he was unconscious, so when he was conscious, the, he was so shocked and panicking, he, he ran away straight into the bush. And guys, that's the last time we saw the monkey. I was shouting hallelujah. Listen, that day when the monkey broke the chain, I was under my bed. I was locked into my room. I'm like, listen, this time this monkey ain't finding me, I'm telling you. I was locked in my room. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So when I heard he ran away, when I came out of my room and said they can't find the monkey, he ran away, I was praising God. I was praising God, guys. So I have one, <laughs> one mark from him on my big toe and one on my leg where I showed you guys listen that's my story guys so I have two wounds which I'm proud of people's like oh cover it I'm like no I'm not gonna cover it because if I did cover it I wouldn't have a story to share with you guys so I hope you guys like my story time and don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video if you do and if you did enjoy my story time and also comment down below let me know your thoughts uh, would you ever like to have a monkey one day nah don't do it <laughs> so guys i will see you in my next one bye